here's something that was fun. I watched this documentary last night. It's called uh, Love Has Won. Love Has Won, The Cult of Mother God. So that's one of the rare cults run by a lady, too, right? Yeah. It's, it's a cult. Just a lady who said she was God. A bunch of hippies showed up. Yes, there's been crazy people that have been labeled as cult. But who are we to judge? It's like, what? what's a cult? People not believing what's mainstream, which is God's a man, and that you find him in a church that wants money. God was on the planet, and she's a woman. And I was like, that makes total fucking sense. It's kind of fun. It looked very fun. And then, oh, bro, you're going to love this documentary. I, I get to a see guy it. shows up. So she always has, she's Mother God. She always has a Father God. So whoever she's at the time it's whichever hippie is now the new father god but the <laughs> ultimate father god is still coming it it's is awesome. so funny there's a dude that shows up and just <laughs> dominates the cult like a dude does a dude, a takes dude over? shows up and just ruins everything there he was yeah she was so he was like, there he is he was the boyfriend oh, he's, a meth, yeah. he's a meth head of course yeah. he's a meth head yep. yeah he's Amazing. like Amazing. gets out of prison or whatever goes to this cult i brought all the darkness hmm, hmm. That's why I stayed. I killed her. Energetically. You see. Amazing. He's like, he said he was out raking leaves with all the community and he just put his rake down and was like, I run this. I looked at that rake and I looked at that house and I looked at that land and I felt something come through me. I dropped that fucking rake and I looked at these, and I'll share with you, these motherfuckers. Like this, is my fucking house. They think every cloud's a spaceship. They're like the ships are coming. They're gonna pick us up any day now. Oh, cloud ships, of course, ready to cloak. And they love the picture taken. It is fascinating knowing that there really are people in them that uh, really care. <laughs> Finally, just a dude that Still does math. Coming, yeah. A dude with a ponytail that does math shows up. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, this is definitely Father God. And all the other hippies are like, this guy sucks. Literally embodying all the lower masculine energy you've ever seen on the planet. All in one vessel. Believe me, I asked plenty of times to mom. I feel like he's not father. I feel like I'm father. And she always told me, that he's Father God, your Father Multiverse, dumbass. Don't get confused. But he's uh, he's as funny as it gets. He's he's literally doing math in front of all these people, and like being like, "Turn that music off. Put this on." He puts on like hardcore metal, and it's like, Ugh! <laughs> <laughs> and all these hippies just have to sit there like, "Oh man." <laughs> he would just like take over the music and start playing like like heavy metal stuff. Now, enough of that. That's me. The golden of power. As a 19 <laughs> billion year old deity, Carlson claimed she could cure cancer while also drinking herself into oblivion every night. <laughs> hey. <laughs> she had lived through other people before. She was Joan of Arc, Cleopatra. She was Marilyn. Just looking at the lifetime of Marilyn Monroe, there's been many moments where she looks just like her, if not hotter than her. They believed oh. silver, uh, what's it called? Yes. What type Colloidal of silver? silver? Colloidal silver. They were like, that's gonna solve this. So they were just crushing this lady with silver while she was an alcoholic. Oh my <laughs> God. <laughs> and she started turning blue. No she way. smurfed out and died, dude. <laughs> but she was also, it's so funny, because everybody in the documentary still believes that she was God. Yeah. So they're all like, just like, yeah, I mean, she. She drank more than anybody could possibly drink. Alcohol is a medicine if you use it right. And she was <laughs> taking all of our pain and sin, so she needed it. Alcohol is a medicine. Marijuana is a medicine. If you're using it for that intent, and she was. And then there's just videos of just clearly a blacked out drunk lady like, I said I want a chicken parm, you motherfuckers. <laughs> My vision was chicken parmesan. I love me bubbles. But I didn't f say that. Holy shit. Chicken Parmesan. She did so that for good. them. That's so nice. She did. She <laughs> took all the sins on and then just had an army of hippies that would f wait on her. That summer, it was pretty easy. You know, like I said, breakfast, shower, 
Sometimes she would go into like an etheric meeting, which means that she would look like to a normal person that she was sleeping. Bro, I'm watching that tonight. She's got the it's galactics. Good. She's got she channels oh, no. <laughs> she channels her deity. I'm it, writing this down. That I'm gonna yes. set a reminder to watch. It's this so tonight. funny. She channels her. Uh, they're called the galactics. It's a to collection of people that who knows they're they have advisors, spaceships. Yeah, they have spaceships. They're gonna pick her up. But it, the oracles weren't like who you'd think it was. It wasn't like saints and shit. It was literally. It was like Robin Williams is my top oracle. What? Donald Trump. He's still alive, but he's one of the oracles. <laughs> he communicates to me. Every person in this picture is no longer alive, but they're on mom's etheric team. Carrie Fisher. Elvis is actually mom's son. Oh, Trump. <laughs> oh, uh, John Lennon. That's Ashtar. He's the command of the, the main starship. But Robin was mom's main ambassador. She signed over like the divine plan for him to make changes. Like he's a very, very big part of this and humanity's gonna see that. They love Trump, which is so funny. <laughs> they do love Trump. Anytime she gets hammered, she's like, Robin Williams is channeling himself through me. <laughs> That's why I'm being <laughs> mean to everybody. She just get she no, she just get hammered and be like, Fuck you, bitch, clean up all my shit. And the next day be like, damn, Robin Williams was crazy last night. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's it's hilarious. The best. Then she starts taking silver, and her cult believes her so much that when she starts to be like, I don't know, guys, I think the silver might be killing me. They're like, no, nah, the silver's good. You're God. He's like, I'm not God. I'm fucking hammered. <laughs> <laughs> She's like, I've been hammered for 20 years. Is this silver? Is that the same stuff that made that guy turn blue? Yeah. Remember he was on Oprah? This is what happened. Yeah. Did she turn blue as well? She turns blue at the end. Oh, boy. Dude. What did she look like at the end? Oh. That. Oh yeah! Oh man! Oh man! That's she so wasn't weird. that old, right? And she was attractive, dude. Show her before she was hot. She was Damn, very pretty. She was pretty. Yeah, that's, that's her. her LinkedIn wow. photo. LinkedIn. <laughs> that's her LinkedIn. Glad to see your business is doing well. Yeah, it just became a business where they. She was so hot. McDonald's yeah. manager to call theater. Wow, she was a McDonald's manager. Yeah, she did it. Hey, you can do it in this country. Yeah. If you have a good idea and you really work hard, you can. You, you can, can die from rum and silver like a pirate. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs>